Good afternoon, welcome back, and today we are looking at Barry McGuigan's Championship Boxing according to the loading screen, but on the front of the box it is referred to as Barry McGuigan World Championship Boxing. Presumably in between the game being programmed and being released, that's when he uh, became World Champion. Anyway, it's released by Activision in 1985, it's a great game, I uh, really enjoyed this. Um, you know, one of the best boxing games on the spectrum, alongside Frank Bruno's boxing, which I have to admit I prefer more um, because of its sort of arcadey style, although it's bloody difficult in uh, in places. Um, but Barry McGuigan's is a lot more in-depth um, a boxing game. You get a lot more control about your, over your player's strength, etc. And you have to be a little bit more strategic, actually, as well. Anyway, so we are setting up a new boxer. It is Bazza um, in Bazza McGuigan's boxing. And you get to choose your um, boxing style, you get to choose your race, uh, your uh, weight, um, your kind of uh, hair colour and stuff like that. And the trick is to work your way all the way through the contenders until you're top dog. Um, I can't remember how to do that, uh, but then, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to do it now anyway. Um, I did manage to get quite far in this back in the day. Now this is the sort of strategy part of the game. It's really good that you can, before each bout, you can uh, sort of select what kind of training you want to do and, um, you know, to try and make your fighter stronger. And we go into the game, the controls are quite simple, Q and A up and down, um, O and P do left or right punches, and I don't really know what M does, uh, I think that's just a, a, a key for the menu. Now in the top left and right corner you've got the endurance meter um, for both you and your opponent, and you've got to be careful, you can't just go out like I do, sort of swinging pun and throwing punches and hoping one of them lands because you've got to keep an eye on that endurance. It does go down with each hit that you land, as does your opponents with every punch that you um, get on them. Now, like I say, you have to be careful uh, not to let your energy, etc., run all the way down so that you're a sitting duck, basically. So, you know, that's got a bit of, uh, a bit of um, strategy and thought needs to be applied into the game. Now, it doesn't look fantastic, um, but it plays really, really well. Uh, it is very addictive trying to work your way up the ranks uh, to become um, the, the sort of best boxer in the world um, and, you know, do Baz's name justice. But I'm only going to show you that just this one fight so you can see what the game is like uh, and then decide for yourselves whether or not you want to play it. Now, that was the end of the, the first round and as you can see, there's, um, you know, you get scores, etc., uh, from the various judges. You can get the crowd reaction. They don't look very animated. They just look like uh, unfilled in circles. But, you know, it does the job. You're only really supposed to be concentrating on uh, on the action in the ring anyway. So, yeah, Barry McGuigan World Championship Boxing. I do suggest, if you're not familiar with it, that you go and check it out. It is quite um, addictive. Uh, especially once you start to get the hang of, you know, adopting a different strategy for each particular fight and um, seeing whether or not you can work your way up. Now, it's a game that I used to play quite a bit back in the day. Like I said, I do prefer Frank Bruno's boxing. Um, I think it looks nicer and it plays a little bit more sort of arcadey, but this is still you know got more long-term appeal than that game it's um it's really really um good way of wasting a few hours it was for me back in the 80s it came out in 1985 and i did have i still got it actually in my uh, box of games my games collection or as my wife calls it my pile of shit but hey ho women don't understand do they but anyway um that's the end of this narration i hope that you've enjoyed the video um Please let me know if you did. Um, if you want to enter into any kind of discussion about the game, by all means, let's uh, let's do so. Take care of yourselves. Have a great coming weekend, and I'll see you next time.